A wiring diagram is a simple visual representation of the physical connections and layout of an electrical system or circuit. It shows how the electrical wires are interconnected and can also show where fixtures and components may be connected to the system. Let's look at a basic wiring connection and go from there. If a line touching another line has a black or white dot, it means the lines are connected. These lines connect to all kinds of symbols representing the various components of a wiring diagram. You'll notice that most symbols used on a wiring diagram look like abstract versions of the real objects they represent. Let's go over some common electrical symbols and what they represent. A ground symbol identifies a ground terminal. It can be used for a zero potential reference point from where current is measured. It is also used for electrical shock protection. There are a few different ground symbols. The one we're showing here is Earth, but there's also a chassis and digital slash common ground with slight variations to this symbol. A resistor reduces current flow. In a schematic, this is represented with a few zigzag squiggles. We're showing the US and Japan version of this symbol. The UK uses a simple box over a straight line. There are also symbols for variable and adjustable resistors, as well as thermal and preset resistors. A switch disconnects the current when open. We're showing a simple SPST, single pole, single throw toggle switch, but there are variations for SPDT, push button, dip, relay, and more. A capacitor symbol shows two terminals running into plates. The curved plate indicates that the capacitor is polarized. The curved side has lower voltage. A small plus sign can be added to the straight side, indicating the positive pin. A fuse protects electrical circuits by stopping the flow of current when the intensity of current exceeds a set value. It does this by melting a special wire. This is represented by two dots in a curvy line. An antenna marks a device, rod, or wire designed to capture radio and electromagnetic waves into electrical signals and vice versa. It looks like a Y with a third branch in the center. An inductor is also called a coil or reactor. The coils store energy in a magnetic field or flux. An inductor symbol looks like a series of looped coils. A transformer is two or more coils coupled by magnetic induction. It helps keep the frequency and reduce tension in an AC circuit. A motor is a device that can transform electrical energy into mechanical energy. This is represented as a simple M inside of a circle between wire connections. A source represents the power source for your electronics. This symbol represents DC or direct current. To represent AC current, you'd replace the plus and minus sign with a wave. Batteries are represented on a schematic with a pair of disproportionate parallel lines. The number of lines indicates the number of series cells in the battery. A diode only allows current to flow in one direction. It's always polarized with an anode, A, positive, and cathode, C, negative, side. A diode LED is a standard diode symbol with two small arrows showing the emission of light. These are just some of the electrical symbols that are commonly used. There are many more, as you can see here, in SmartDraw's electrical symbol library. And there are whole batches of other symbols for diagramming things like power distribution, schematics, auto, and so on. Hopefully, this overview of electrical symbols will help you get started creating wiring diagrams. Thanks for watching.